Welcome back to Know Your Blood Pressure Lowering Medications. In our last two episodes, we decoded general information about the five main families of BP lowering meds, and we discussed full details about calcium channel blockers like amlodipine. Today, we're tackling a totally different class, beta blockers, especially two of the most prescribed ones, metoprolol known as Lopressor and bisoprolol known as Concor. But here's the twist. Beta blockers don't just lower blood pressure, they slow your heart down. So, should everyone take them? Who should avoid them? And what's the real difference between metoprolol and bisoprolol? Let's find out. First, some science. Our body has different types of beta receptors. Beta-1 receptors are mainly found in the heart, while beta-2 receptors are located in the lungs and blood vessels. Most beta blockers are designed to target beta-1, but at higher doses, they can block beta-2, which may affect breathing in people with asthma. Beta blockers, or beta adrenergic blockers, work by blocking the effects of adrenaline on your heart. Think of adrenaline like your body's gas pedal. It makes your heart beat faster and harder. Beta blockers gently lift your foot off the gas. They reduce heart rate, consequently lower blood pressure, and decrease the heart's oxygen demand, making them a key player not just in hypertension, but also in heart failure, post-heart attack care, even anxiety and certain arrhythmias. But not all beta blockers are created equal. Let's zoom into two big ones. Metoprolol is one of the most widely used beta blockers worldwide. It comes in two forms, metoprolol tartrate, it's short acting, taken twice a day, and metoprolol succinate, which is extended release, taken once daily. Commonly used for high blood pressure, angina, after a heart attack, and in heart failure. Side effects you should know, fatigue or feeling sluggish, cold hands and feet, due to its effect on the sympathetic nervous system which reduces blood flow to the extremities. Slow pulse by blocking beta-1 receptors in the heart, reducing how hard and fast it beats. Sometimes even vivid dreams or mood changes because it reaches the brain and slightly changes how your nerves communicate. Pro tip, take it after food to help with absorption and reduce dizziness. Typical doses for high blood pressure are 50 to 100 milligrams, taken twice a day. For chest pain, 50 to 100 milligrams, taken two to three times a day. In irregular heartbeat, 50 milligrams, taken two to three times a day. It could be also used for preventing migraine in a dose of 50 to 100 milligrams, taken twice daily. You can take metoprolol with or without food. Obviously, the doses will vary from individual to individual. And so, it is important to take the dose that is prescribed to you by your own healthcare provider. Now meet bisoprolol, quieter, but often preferred in heart failure and long-term control. It's also beta-1 selective, but even more so than metoprolol. That makes it gentler on the lungs, and a better option for people with mild asthma or COPD, under doctor supervision of course. Taken once daily, it provides steady control of blood pressure and heart rate. Bisoprolol is especially useful in chronic heart failure, hypertension, atrial fibrillation or irregular heart rhythms. Common side effects are similar, fatigue, dizziness, slower heart rate, but it's often better tolerated in elderly patients due to its longer half-life and steady effect. Doctors often start low, 1.25 milligrams or 2.5 milligrams and slowly build up based on heart rate and symptoms. So which is better? Regarding selectivity, metoprolol is moderate beta-1 selective, while bisoprolol is highly beta-1 selective. For dosing and frequency, metoprolol is taken one to two times per day, while bisoprolol once daily. For onset of action, metoprolol has faster onset, but bisoprolol is relatively slower and steadier. When used in heart failure, Metoprolol succinate only can be used, whereas bisoprolol is more commonly preferred. Lung safety. Metoprolol is less safe at high doses, but bisoprolol is better tolerated in most patients. 
Bottom line, if rapid control is needed, such as after a heart attack, metoprolol may be preferred. For stable, long-term management, bisoprolol often shines. A kind reminder that this video is for educational use only. Do not change your medications based on this content. Always consult your doctor first. Let's now finish off the video with some commonly asked questions. How long does beta blockers take to work? Usually it starts to work after about two hours, but it can take up to one week to take full effect. Will it affect my sex life? Some people on long-term beta blockers say their sex drive goes down. But this is not a common side effect. It is reported in around 10% of patients and more with old non-selective beta blockers. For more information about beta blockers, including specific issues around pregnancy, breastfeeding and fertility, please check out the links I have included in the description box of this video. Beta blockers aren't for everyone. They're usually not first line for blood pressure alone, especially in patients over 60, unless there's another heart condition. Avoid in severe asthma, slow heart rates, or certain heart blocks, unless your cardiologist says otherwise. But in the right patient, beta blockers like metoprolol or bisoprolol can save lives, prevent heart attacks, and reduce hospitalizations. Next in our series, the water pills, diuretics. Are they still relevant in 2025? And what should you watch for with them? Don't miss it. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next quick dose.